Yo, what is going on guys? It is Zappify, and today I'm coming at you guys with another video. Today I'm actually bringing you guys my episode 7 of Rope to Dark Matter, which I think is shotguns if I'm correct. But before we get into this video, it is double XP and double weapon XP this weekend, which is pretty cool. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Shotguns were one of the easier classes to get diamond, but I'm going to help you guys on the lay because some of them might be difficult. First off, for the KRM and the Argus, you do have to get one shot, one kills. Even though most of the time they are one shot, one kill in the regular core playlist, I do recommend playing hardcore because that absolutely guarantees everything will be a one shot, one kill. And that's definitely the better option for you. Now for the Brecky and the Haymaker, I definitely recommend playing the Nuketown playlist, uh, Chaos Mosh Pit, or um, as is double XP right now, there's actually a Nuketown 24-7. So I definitely recommend playing that to get your headshots. I would definitely recommend for um, headshots to actually slap on Gung Ho. That's a great perk for shotguns and uh, will easily get your headshots if you just aim for the head. You actually don't even need to aim down sights. I just hit fire for my headshots and got them. So I think all of these guns to get the Polynesia camo are actually pretty easy. Now for the Ardent and Battle camo. The Ardent camo you have to actually get 10 revenge medals. Those can't, those revenge medals will just happen naturally while you're playing and getting your other challenges. As well as the Battle camo which is like 5 double kills. Those will just come automatically so there's not really... You can't really try to go for those, those will just come. And like always, for the Burnt and Bliss camo, adjust your classes accordingly. I think Bliss is actually 50 kills with uh, 6 attachments and Burnt being 50 kills with no attachments. So I definitely recommend playing hardcore for both of these challenges I've seen. You're not going to have those extra attachments to help you out and uh, do more damage and help your accuracy out. So definitely recommend playing hardcore for those. And last but not least, the Chameleon Camo. It's actually 5 Bloodthirsties. This is probably the hardest challenge you'll have to do with the shotguns. And um, if this is the hardest challenge that's saying stuff, then that's saying how pretty easy it is. I know I recommend hardcore a lot in my videos, but I truly believe that's the easiest way to do everything. For your five bloodthirsties, I do recommend hardcore once again. It's going to guarantee you a one shot, one kill with every shotgun in the game, so it's just going to make it that much easier. And for attachments for every shotgun, I do recommend long barrel and laser on absolutely everything. Those are necessities for shotguns, and those should help you get your bloodthirsties and your other challenges. And that's going to end it all for me today, so if this video helped you get your shotguns diamond, um, or at least you learned one thing today, please slap that like button, that'd mean the world to me. And uh, drop a subscribe too if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Observe, I was born on Noble, back when niggas had to run away quick, see. Old folks never like when young ass kids be suiting hoops down by the driveway. And if I hit the ball over the wall, I'd have to go and take the sideway. I say, I say, I may have raised some hell in my